Boo Boo Mother Bennett went to UCF, right? University of Central Florida in her first college visit since Ohio, Ohio University last winter. Caitlin was chased off campus by libs at the University of Central Florida. Go home, Caitlin! So much for the tolerant left, am I right? Also, I just want to get started with this. So she's violating campus rules here by not wearing a mask in public. She has uh, the right to be in public spaces on that campus, but um, she doesn't have a right to be on a campus without a mask. Something that UCF informed her of that she lies and said UCF never informed her of. So that's one thing. Uh, the second thing that I find additionally hilarious is this fake Louis Vuitton mask that this guy is wearing now the reason why i find it funny is because like that actually will cut off your circulation like if you have a leather mask that will literally cause problems you know how conservatives say like oh i can't wear a mask because of ox oxidization levels uh and and uh give me headaches when i wear a mask you know my lecture fan said all that that will actually happen to you if you don't wear a cloth mask if you wear something that's not cloth you might actually have an issue with your breathing they hate the police, yet they're asking the police to kick me off campus. I got you. You're good. Me. John, secure that building. Thor, secure that building right there. Secure the building. We, we're tactically ascertaining the perimeter here. Like, dude, if this is the kind of response you're getting, and they knew they were going to get this kind of response, that's why they're on college campus. Why are you there? At some point, you got to be like, man, they really, they hate me because I suck. <laughs> but no, of course not. They think that these people hating on them only solidifies their position. It's not even real Louis V mask. Back him up, back him up, back him up. Right here. Like, imagine running into Einstein bagels, dude. Tactically ascertain the Einstein bagels for uh, extraction. The eagle has landed in Einstein bagels. Yeah, we don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm bummed. I'm bummed because like when when people forcibly try to remove dipshits like uh, Boo Boo Bennett off campus, one, it like legitimizes their uh, you know victimhood complex. But two, I want to see the content. Like I, I I want I want her to talk to some people who like put her in her place. You know, like what are you guys doing? I hope I hope there's more to this 53 minute video than just like her. Talking about how she, how scared she was. I appreciate you talking to me. I really do. I appreciate it. If, there, if there's anything else you would like me to. Do not approach. Do not approach. Oh my God. He's wearing a 5'11 tactical golf shirt, dude. When you got this much meat hanging out the sides, like you're, you're not, you're not being tactical. Sargon of a cod Andy over here. Wear a mask. She has I want to mention that a lot of these people are feminists, they're liberals, they're out here super cool leftists. They claim my body, my choice, yet they're like mad. Said, Holy crap, wait. There's a <laughs> my body, my choice, which means I can actually execute someone else if I want to. It's my choice to execute someone else. That's how this works. I'm very smart. I wonder why my body, my choice doesn't work about wearing a mask in, in the middle of a pandemic where mask wearing at the very least reduces the likelihood that you could spread coronavirus or catch it. Hmm. Like you can't do a my body, my choice on on issues that pertain to public safety that where you were literally harming other people. I'm just that that logic doesn't work there. My body, my choice. Sorry, I don't want to wear pants. Sorry, I'm literally going to pee on you. My body, my choice. You can't do anything about it. My body, my choice. You guys, you guys are, you're putting this black person's life in danger. What's wrong with you? You're gathering about the limits. Conversation, that's all they're doing. They're shutting down conversation. They're scared of the truth. I'm just trying to come out here and talk to people about what's going on. Yeah. Yes, yes, what a, what a freaking alpha. Yes, you're so alpha for taking off your mask. Yeah, now shit your pants. Doo-doo your pants immediately. Please doo-doo your pants now. Because, and, and take off your pants and doo-doo on the ground. Because that's alpha as f dude. Alpha male, yes. I had COVID. I'm not scared of it, man. Yeah, well, don't give it to me. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've already had it.
<laughs> yeah, I wonder why this idiot had it already. Dude, I love that. Oh, I'm so alpha. I had COVID already. She goes, don't give it to me. Can I get All a right. picture with you afterwards? Sure. Thanks, yeah, right? you can get a picture with me now. Pull it up. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're such a loser if you're excited to take a photo with Caitlyn Bennett. Like, if you unironically are simping for Boo Boo Bennett, I mean, you're going to get, you're not going to have friends going forward, which will probably solidify your position as a Republican because, you know, that sort of personal grievance about how no one likes you or wants to be around you is at the heart of a lot of like Republican uh, mentality. Yeah, my wife left me because I'm a Republican. My, uh, I became a young Republican when uh, nobody wanted to debate me about how black people are inferior <laughs> or that you shouldn't have to wear a mask in public during a pandemic. They're so mad I'm choosing what to do with my own body. I just want to put that in perspective. My body, my choice. I'm not leaving this campus. This time, they will not get away with their terrorist ideology, their terrorist behavior. I mean, she's literally doing bioterrorism, technically. Like, if she had, we don't know. She doesn't have, like, coronavirus, probably. But if she did, that would literally be bioterrorism. This is what we claim China is doing to America when we are doing it to ourselves. It's pretty funny. Like, oh, the, the left are terrorists because they want you to wear a mask. <laughs> Good one. Universities are also disgusting money-making operations and they're horrible. And I will admit that. But one of the things that they're doing now is like, they will yeet you off campus if you're Excuse caught me. without a mask. I'm sorry. I'm and I'm control. pretty sure UCF has that. a policy similar to that. Himself. They will not refund your, uh, your, your tuition. They will take your tuition, they'll pocket it, and they'll f kick you off campus. While colleges are pretty horrible, especially as of late, with their money-making operations and their, their interests, like, that dude might have lost his uh, tuition and gotten expelled. What? Get her off. Who would get me off? The police. They don't like the police. This is absolutely amazing. I love that you guys are acting like this out here. Isn't she a libertarian and she should like severely dislike the police because they perpetuate the state violence, uh, the state monopoly on violence? Uh, well, I guess she's not. She's also, she's a libertarian monarchist who believes that we should uh, make America into a monarchy. We got to teach them a lesson and do it in the polls. Teach them a lesson. They cannot mob people to limit their free speech. They cannot scare us anymore. Stop being silent. We're done being silent. We're done apologizing for Donald Trump. When were conservatives ever silent? Especially Boo Boo Bennett. Like, as a matter of fact, she never shuts the fuck up. It's always funny when conservatives are like, we're done being silent. We're the majority. You are neither the majority, nor have you ever been silent. It's the can't shut the fuck up minority. It's not the silent majority. It's the minority that literally cannot shut the fuck up ever. I love. You'll see. I, I love Boo Boo Bennett. It just listen. The, her entire shtick is just like I'm a God, victim. Look amazing. at me. I'm a victim. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna agitate people. I'm gonna be a fucking asshole, and then I'm gonna play the victim the entire the rest of the way. And that's just like pre-built content. It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, she really thrives when she's getting dunked on by people. But you know, this is this is great too. It's like, she's so horny about it, which is really terrible too. Like, I feel dirty when I watch this. The reason why I feel dirty is because like, look at her eyes. Whores in this house. Look, <laughs> look, some whores in this look at how hey, excited hey, she gets when like go. someone is approaching her to shit on her. Like, look, just silently look at her eyes. Watch, notices from the corner whores of her eye, house. someone approaching her. Look, she's like, yeah, yeah, just f shit on me. Shit on me. I love attention. Daddy. It's so fucked up. It's so weird. It's like watching a Boo Boo Bennett compilation is literally like it's like watching a, someone with a humiliation fetish get off for like 53 minutes. So it's amazing how they don't want to talk until they have this these little zoomer babies. It does. It does make me feel a little happy seeing like little, little zoomies are out there angry about this sort of stuff. Like it, it makes me feel a little I feel a, a sense of comfort that like, you know, the, some of the kids are all right. I mean, some of them are Nazi groipers, but some of them are all right. Talk to a lot of people who don't hate Donald Trump. And then guess what? They come out in mobs. You don't see Trump supporters coming out when there's a liberal on campus. Do no. these people get mobbed when they go and they get into a group of Trump supporters? Wait, what? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, they do. As a matter of fact, Trump supporter, a Trump supporter literally, she filmed this yesterday. A Trump supporter last week 
literally went over state lines with an AR-15 and like killed two people and severely injured a third. What are you talking about? They do that all the time. Immediately following that, the next day in Portland, Trump supporters had a fleet of trucks that literally drove through downtown Portland and pepper sprayed people and bear maze people. They do it nonstop and they do it incredibly violently. I want to know if you're going to ask your students to follow the policies about gathering. Okay, yeah. Will you ask them to follow that policy? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. If but she's violating the policy herself. Like she's technically responsible for all these people gathering there. Like they're only there because she's there, which is silly. Uh, honestly, the best way to deal with this, and it, it, I can't control this crowd, obviously. I have no control over it. But like the best way to deal with this sort of stuff is like, to just be as clear and as concise as possible while also dunking on her. That's all you got to do. No, give her the content, but just do it. Like her editors are going to put the clips in where she's getting dunked on. So all you got to do is just like um, go up and, and just like dunk on her a little bit. Don't get the don't let the crowd get out of hand It's like that's not good. Oh, well, they don't believe in funding the police. They want to defund it. Yet they're calling the police on me to kick me off campus. OK. This is another incredibly smooth brain take, but like wanting to reform the police force and to make sure that the police force actually does what it's tasked to do, which is protect and serve the communities of the people uh, that they, they uh, are, are tasked with protecting and serving rather than anything else is entirely separate than, oh, they, they uh, hate the police and now they're using the police or they hate the police like, and now they don't want the police to be there. Some of those people want the police. There are a multitude of different ideas here in that crowd of people. Some of them want to abolish the police. Some of them don't. It's idiotic to be like, oh, but these people want to reform the police, which means they can't use the police. Students are not to engage in conduct that would endanger the safety, health, and well-being of others, including limiting gatherings of 12 or more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm so proud of her that she's able to count. This is good. This is proof that she's smarter than she lets on. Okay, All right, this stuff is boring. Let's see some policy. other stuff. They don't care if I wear a mask. These same people have probably tweeted out they hope I die from the virus. I think the thing that like conservatives fail to understand and this is really uh, important to recognize here, is that telling you to wear a mask isn't just so that you're protected from coronavirus. It's so that you don't spread it to other people. So it's not necessarily about your body, your choice, or it's not really about like, you know, them wanting you to die from coronavirus. It's that like, Perfect. they don't want you wow, to give it to other people. To that's, that's where that comes from. She's... But I think that they don't understand that. That's why... That's, I guess that's where this uh, entire confusion comes from. There you I have saw it. on someone's Snapchat story, I saw Kaylin Bennett's here. I'm like, oh, where? I was like, I got to go say hi. Hello. Wait, uh, shout out Steven Crowder. I love him. Yes, He's Crowder. So Let's good. get Crowder to come to this school, right? And please, if Steven Crowder comes to the school, I'll love him. Dude, ew, ew. Why are you openly admitting that you like this stuff on camera? Like, at least have the decency to just like, like, this is worse than being a f and weave dude imagine being a weeb for steven crowder that's so embarrassing dude my god you're never gonna get pussy dude oh no you're never gonna get laid now and then you're gonna go further and further into this like hole of insult dumb and, and right-wing radicalization god damn it dude She loves this, dude. I just, this is an own. Like, this is absolutely an own. Like, the left is getting owned here. I I'll be honest. Because, like, you're really feeding into her humiliation fetish. You're really, you're really f***ing up here big time. Like, Duncan on her is one thing, but you can see how excited she is. That, like, people are noticing her, paying attention to her, and also feeding into her His humiliation fetish. Is... But the university has a policy. No, we're just asking you guys to leave. But I was told I didn't have to wear one. Well, I'm telling you now you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, I love that this guy has a thin blue line on his badge. Um, is, is Caitlin Boo Boo Bennett telling a cop that she knows better? Wait a minute. What? I'm sensing some insubordination there. He's like putting his hand on his gun. That's not too fair that they can do what they want. But, but, but like, 
but they're all wearing masks. They're all wearing masks. They go to that school. You don't go to that school. You're literally there to cause a commotion. You got what you wanted. The least you could do is wear a mask. I think the right thing to do here is, is yeet her off campus if she doesn't put on a mask. I'm sorry. And it's easier for us to ask you to wear a mask than it is to separate them right now. So I think if we work together, I think that that's fair, don't you? You have to accept that this is a very unusual time in our country, and we're trying the very best we can, but this is the policy. Have, have they been asked to social distance in their groups? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait, why are you debate lording the cop? Okay, this is again... Uh, Boo Boo Bennett using her Officer Danny. Like, imagine Reddit debate lording a cop. Well, the cop is like asking you to do something that's pretty reasonable, by the way. Like asking you to comply to an incredibly reasonable thing, which is, can you please wear a mask while you are inciting a riot? Can you please just at the very least wear a goddamn mask while you are making people so horny to fuck you up and we have to defend you? All right, these people are huge Donald Trump supporters. So I think it's more important to stay because they really want me to leave. So I, I only follow the rules when a Donald Trump supporter asked me to do it is a hilarious take on top of everything else, though. Like, so what if he was like a leftist cop, which is oxymoronic, of course, doesn't exist. But like, let's say it was a fucking leftist figure of authority. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do it then. Aren't you admitting that you're a gigantic sheep? When you do that, everything that that means and it embodies is racist. How? How? Make America great again? When was when was it great? When was it ever great? All right, here we go. Let's it's see. It's great right now. People are still not equal. It was great. It was great when the unemployment rate was really, really bad. Oh, Trump's had... unemployment rate has been record lows for all oh. kinds of ethnicities. I'm not talking to you. Oh, That's why this. America is great right now because of President Trump, because of his border wall, because of all the great. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dude, this is so dumb. She like didn't even. The best thing about Boo Boo is that she didn't even try to read the fuck the the cliff notes. Like she's not even trying to be like you know, I, I I'm gonna at least like repeat talking points. She's like, no, nah, it's great. How is Donald Trump a racist? Donald Trump is a racist. For many examples, his rhetoric. Give me examples. Examples of his rhetoric. Mexicans are rapists. Him when did he say that? that? When did he say that? He said that at a protest. Or not a protest, a rally. He said MS-13. Oh, damn. Um, this is, uh, this is the ultimate conservative move. And you have no answer for this, liberals. Get wrecked. Just saying, no, that's not true. When he definitely did. And it was well documented. How are you going to defeat someone in the marketplace of ideas if they're just like, no, that's not true. This is what zero pussy does to a motherfucker. Are you talking about Boo Boo Bennett? Because yes, that is what Zero Pussy does to a motherfucker. MS-13 gang members are rapists. Again, I just dispelled your... That's not true. He didn't say that. He said immigrants coming over the border are... Immigrants coming over the border are, are rapists and, and drug dealers. That's, that's what he said. That's literally what he said. He didn't say MS-13. And then said some are, some are good people uh, as well. Sorry. About basic facts. Give me a fact that he's racist. I just did. I gave you. I because can't. he doesn't want illegal immigrants oh, in our fucking own, dude. It's like you, there's nothing you can do about that. There, there is literally nothing you can do about that. They aren't sending their best. Like, there's so many things that he said. He said a Mexican judge, uh, like a Mexican American judge, was impo like could not accurately, uh, accurately get involved in his court case because of his ethnic background, which is literally the textbook definition of racism. There is. There is literally no other way to describe that than just racism. Saying that someone and their ethnic background is going to make it impossible for them to fairly adjudicate. That is literally, there's just, that's it. That's the textbook definition. The only thing that's more racist than that is just like straight up saying the N-word. Central Park 5 is a good example. I mean, there's just so many examples, man. So many examples. Like none of us want to have to deal with this. So why would you force someone else to do it? We're just all trying to keep each other safe. But I thank you. I just wanted to say I thank you for wearing your mask. So you're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming up. No, can you tell your classmates to also be respectful? See, not enough. Never give concessions. Never give concessions to one of these horny chuds. Because it's not. This is not about like arriving at a compromise, dude. 
you can't compromise with someone who literally gets off on uh, humi being humiliated and gets off on like how angry she makes other people and how intensely she's disliked. Why the f would you even try? Oh yeah, thank you for wearing a mask. Okay, now get everyone around you to also do the same thing. They all need to thank me. And even if they do thank her, then she's gonna be like, now I want you to apologize and everyone else to apologize for even being annoying near my vicinity while I was trying to agitate them. It's like playing chess with a pigeon, okay? The pigeon's gonna fuck the board up or it's like arguing with idiots. They're gonna lower you down to their level and they're, they always have more experience at that level. No, you're not. You are not allowed to gather no, more not, than 12 people. Either, and you don't go I there. am now. Your policies on this game, I'm sorry for that. No, See, there you go. It's just your content. If you're gonna go there, be, re be armed with facts. Okay, if you are going to go around Caitlin Bennett, you need to know what her talking points are. You need to know what she's there to do. You need to go there with a deliberate purpose. Either go there and blast copyright music if you want to fuck up her entire video. Okay, because that's the best way to deal with that problem. Or you need to get ready to do some quick dunks in and out. Their editors will help you out. They will absolutely put that shit in the clips. They will absolutely put that shit in the video. Anything beyond that is just playing into her game. Yeah, blast the Disney songs in the background uh, so that it's copyrighted and, and her her clip is ruined. Or if you're going to approach her, don't be like, oh, thank you. Oh, look at this. Nice. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. Holy sh How do you feel right now? Pretty good. There's a bunch of people crying around. I don't know why. Somebody already took it and threw it, tucked it, but they ran. They're too scared. Oh, they, they already did that to you. Yeah. Oh, man. It's pretty funny. So it makes them look bad, makes me look good. Dude, you look real good right now, homie. I'm gonna be honest with you. You look so good. Nothing. And I mean, nothing looks cooler than simping for a girl who famously shit her pants and is only there to like annoy the entirety of her college campus. Nothing looks cooler than that, dude. They gonna by the way, this is why masks are good. Okay. This is why conservatives should be totally on board with masks. Automatically, we don't see your jawline or lack thereof there you go it's like the great equalizer what the f are you complaining about uh, i'm part of the, i'm trying to join the gop republicans at this campus and so then possibly turning point usa dude i just again i need to tell you look if you are if you're in here as a hate watcher and you're like waiting for a good moment to like own me with some f comments or whatever please dude if you're gonna be a republican be a republican but like i promise you you are going to get no pussy and you are literally going to have no friends if you join any of these f dork ass young Republican, uh, young Republican f uh, college organizations. I promise you, dude, don't do this, dude. Just have fun. You're in f college. Please. I I'm I promise I'm trying to help you. Don't do it. Did you say you're not involved with I'm them? not involved with this mob thinking. I think well, you're. We already talked to I'm not involved with this mob thinking, which is why I love MAGA. I go against the sheep mentality, which is why I take everything Fox News tells my parents unequivocally as the truth. I'm a free thinker, brother, which means I hate science. Can they be made to do what they're supposed to do now? University. Okay, maybe not a cab. I, I, I take I, I take back what I said about a cab, dude. All I'm saying is. A cab has an entirely different house. meaning at There's UCF. It's house. all There's cops are beautiful. House. I am not resisting. Please arrest me. Okay. Listen, listen. This is the this is excellent mask wearing. I don't know what this is, but I mean, dude, I love this. This is everything I love. This guy's got the skin tight Oakleys, brother. His cop levels are through the roof. The bigger the dent the Oakley creates on the side of your dome, the tighter the Oakley is the more of a cop you are. Like this guy actually is the police commissioner right now. By the law of Oakley's, he's literally the commissioner. He's the chief of police of the UCF uh, uh, campus police right now. Like they are all working under his orders. If he had a second Oakley, he would be the top cop. To push back. You guys have the ability to push back. Why are we not pushing back? Like we need a- Like the gall, dude. Imagine like you have no reason to be there. The only reason you're there is to stir shit up. And now you want to use the cops on campus to like brutalize the students of that campus. What the fuck are you doing? You just leave. What do you mean? This is insane, dude. Imagine just like just the audacity 
to, to walk up to a cop and be like, can you do violence now? What is your purpose? Go do violence. I came here to piss them off and now they're pissed. So you need to do violence. What an insane world that this person lives in. That is you not fair. Because they're here because you're here. You know why things are happening in this country? Because police won't stand let up me, to these people. Let me talk people. to you about something, okay? Are you kidding? Oh my God, bro. It's nuts, dude. Okay. This is a moment where I am truly conflicted because on the one hand, she's really annoying the f out of this dude. Okay. She is really annoying the f out of this dude. But on the other hand, she is Caitlin Bennett. So I'm very conflicted in this circumstance. I'm like, I mean, he's being really good. He's being really, really, really good props. I mean, where props is, is due. I walked away. You didn't walk away. We changed location. So, so if someone rapes a girl because she was there at a party, is, is he not responsible? He is. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my Lord, dude. Why aren't you doing police violence? This is just like rape. She's debate lording. Oh, God. She pulled a rape card. It's undefeated debate lord. Uh, undefeated debate lord tactic. It's like, draw an analogy to rape. An analogy to rape. Automatic win. Even like, the masks, I understand, everyone's got a mask on for the most part, but the social distancing, like... And, and then this, all this language, like... I don't understand. You can't, on the one hand, advocate for not mask wearing, and say that like, you don't need to wear masks because coronavirus is fake, and then try to be like, but they're not social distancing. Like, what the fuck? The entire reason, if you don't want them to social distance, and if you truly care about their well-being, which you don't, obviously, then leave the f***ing campus. You don't need to be there. Like, you're literally there to agitate people and to draw a big crowd so you can make content. Outside agitators, by the way, right? Like, it's the, it's the white anarchists or some shit that are the outside agitators that incite riots. I mean, what the f*** is this then? What is she doing? She literally came from the outside to agitate. And of course, as always, as it has been historically, the cops are on her side. They're protecting her uh, of course and like politely asking her to fucking leave and she's like no i won't leave officer nanny i won't leave uh how ironic is that i know it's so funny i'm, I'm glad you're here today thank you okay let me give you yes, yeah. i support you thank you and i love it yeah me sorry too. i've been ignoring you like, no it's okay. okay it's okay it's funny that like they're all yelling about your mask and everything but no one was socially distanced dude oh my god it's like Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay. When massive groups congregate in a specific area, it America becomes incredibly hard to control that crowd. Cops know this because they learn how to deal with crowds as a part of their job. That's why the cop in that circumstance, in an effort to disperse the crowd, is trying to tell Caitlin Boo Boo Bennett to stop shitting her diapies in the middle of UCF campus because that's the most effective way to disperse that crowd. That crowd is not going to be there anymore. That's exactly what they're trying to do. You can't come in there and be like, these people are not socially distancing when the entire reason why they're not socially distancing is because you're there and you're trying to agitate. I am losing my mind. I just feel so insecure on this campus. Like, I can't express my <laughs> Dude, I love conservatives so much, dude. The arguments have not changed. Okay, 2014 onwards, same arguments over and over again. Freedom of speech on college campuses are being scaled back. Freedom of speech on college campuses are being taken away from us. I feel insecure on college campus. If you're insecure because your ideas are outdated and also idiotic maybe you should do some reflection maybe you should just look within yourself as to why this is all of this is happening so that's I one and two if you're insecure involved. about having shit takes and horrible course. opinions Please that make you look like a racist dipshit and face. you're worried about the social Please scrutiny that you might get and try to imagine what it's like to be a black or brown uh, uh student on that college campus with a f police force that is notoriously clapping black and brown cheeks disproportionately. I'm just, just food for thought, you know? God damn, dude. I mean, I disagree with you on a lot of things, but I don't think this is the way to go about it. Civil discourse. I want to- Oh my God, unironic centrist, dude. 
I lived through the shooting. I understand your constitutional rights to the Second Amendment, but I just, I don't understand why you use assault rifles for it. The shooter at our school used an AR-15 to kill 17 people. If he didn't have that gun, if he wasn't allowed to have that gun, he wouldn't have killed that many. So Rifles, specifically AR-15s, do not account for even a percentage of the murders in our country. Handguns account for 80% of mass shootings in our country. Well, I agree with that. So okay, 100% of mass shootings at schools are committed by an AR-15 then. Also, you don't want to take... God, you don't want right? to dial back gun control on handguns either as a matter of fact you don't want to do that at all so why are you even bringing it up she, if she were to turn around and be like okay ban all guns then and unfortunately our laws are not perfect and they never will be we cannot stop therefore we must abolish all laws very woke the handgun that i have is a lot harder to handle than my ar-10 or my ar-15 and while tragedies happen up to three million which is why it's the perfect weapon that school shooters use a lot easier to f mow down an entire crowd of people that's precisely why they use it uh imagine telling that to the f victim of a school shooting the police are telling me i'm responsible for their actions i'm responsible for their behavior i'm responsible for their violence i have done everything they've asked i put on the I moved the first time, I'm moving the second time, I'm not moving again, if I get off this case- I mean, these people weren't going to congregate and like, uh, have a whole event here. It's not like, also violence. I mean, it's kind of cool, like, she literally unironically started a Black Lives Matter protest, so that's, that's cool. Good, Excuse good for me. her. I'm sorry. I mean, she's literally control. doing more for the that. left, I think. Good job, boo-boo. Good job. She's just going full fashion, asking these cops to clap these students' cheeks, dude. I mean, when, was, when wasn't she doing that? It's so, it, it's, look, Caitlin Bennett is perfect, okay? She is a perfect representation of conservative ideology, okay? Create a scenario where you can assume victimhood and start, like, start f acting like you are the real victim, all right? And then ask the cops to, to come in and, and basically be your person or personal uh, mercenary force. And then when you get the reaction that you tried to do, like that you tried to incite, you're like, oh my God, I'm the real victim. Like she's awesome. Creating an altercation where no such altercation needed to exist. And then ask the cops to clean up your mess. It's great. It's just, this is exactly how conservatives operate. I hope you get Corona and die for not wearing the right mask. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, she said she wants me to die. Meanwhile, literally <laughs> reversed to like three minutes prior. Why aren't you guys violently squashing these protests that I literally started by agitating people on a college campus that I'm not on? Get that skateboard away from me. I got him. Get that skateboard away from me. He good. He's good? Yeah, I was watching him, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd have broken it in half. I would have broken it in half for you, my queen. Yeah, I was watching. Don't worry. That's a skateboard. It's a deadly weapon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I have a deadly weapon behind me right down there, okay? Okay. AR-15 is for self-defense, but a skateboard, that's for self-offense only. I just got to point out, you're a clown, dude. You're a clown, one, for, like, wearing this, like, off-duty cop shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, I'm an auxiliary officer, and I'm here to defend my, my queen. You're a clown for wearing the, the absolutely skin-tight Oakleys. But the worst thing I've ever seen is when you wear ripped-up jeans where the pocket busts out of one of the ribs. You never want to be in that situation, okay? That's just, it's so bad. It's disgusting. Just, like, figure that shit out, dude. They're saying, f 12, f the police. They have the police here to try to get me off campus. Have like, what does she prefer? That, like, there's mob justice instead? Like, why does His she keep saying that? Hashan. Doesn't she recognize that, like, part of the reason why she's not getting her f ass beat is because, well, one, she's got goons. These f roided up jocks over here defending her at all costs from, you know, oncoming skateboards and shit. But also, the cops are the reason why this is not getting out of hand. So, wh what does she want? I think this is utter bullshit, in my opinion. Excuse my French, but 
What you're doing is you're promoting the president. There's nothing wrong with promoting the president. Just complete smooth brain, dude. Just absolute smooth brain takes from f***ing simps. He's done more for the black community than Obama did in eight years. My family is immigrants. I'm Cuban. My family came here from Cuba. They, they grinded, they worked their asses off to achieve the American dream. The, the people that are coming here there it is. from Mexico, from Cuba, they're not doing that. They don't have the same work ethic that my parents had. Also, that's, I would wear that shirt unironically. That's a cool ass shirt. Secondly, I love that the Cuban guy was just like, yo, the Mexicans nowadays, the Cuban kid, like that Cuban kid's literally a f fetus, okay? Dude, you're like 17 and a half years old. What the f do you know about anything? And then he's like, all the Mexicans coming now are lazy. They're not, they're, they're lazy. They're not like my dad. It's like, dude, shut the f up. Don't you think it'll be effective to just not give her attention? Yeah, for sure. Or like I said, if you are going to counter protest someone like Caitlin Bennett, what you have to do is, is be very deliberate and very specific with your actions. Know what the talking points are, become tiny little like Ben Shapiro's pretty much for the left. And if you are incapable of handling it that way, then I would recommend you don't do it. Like I would recommend you don't put yourself on camera where you look silly or emotional because this is all they f uh, work off of. Like this is, this is what they get off on, you know? They don't actually want to f have a conversation. It's never about that. You need to know what the talking points are and just f blur them out, stun lock them quickly, and then back, back away. In and out. Easy execution. Flawless months. victory. We'll move away. Her editors will do the rest. They will put your... They will absolutely put that in the, in the compilation. You can definitely just be like, you pooped your pants at Kent State. Like, that's pretty funny, too. If you really want to just, like, stop her uh, dead in her tracks, or, like, if you want to uh, f*** her bag, then play copyrighted music. Like I said, blast that shit to make sure that, like, you know, YouTube claps uh youtube monetization claps her cheeks but like gathering a big crowd and like getting hostile and angry that that's exactly what she's horny for like it, it works it's good content who indoctrinated them snapchat twitter the media professors. your professors I, so? I know one that cried after trump was elected in class this is pathetic you're brave for standing up here with me thank you like, here's the reality, okay? Do you want to know why they're constantly talking about this instead of, like, I don't know, how great it is that Donald Trump delivered gigantic tax cuts for the corporations and wealthy in this country after they had record high profits under the Obama administration, mind you? Like, why would they talk about that? You never hear him talking about the deregulation, the job-saving deregulations. Because it's not real. It doesn't f impact their lives in any meaningful capacity. And the tangible, long-lasting consequences of those sorts of uh, policies are going to be horrific on their futures. That's why they don't talk about it. That's why it's like build the wall and His immigrants are uh, rapists Hashan. and also, Hashtag you know, no triggered the libs. Now. That's the only reason why they're voting for Donald Trump. And that's the only reason why they'll continue to. It's just a way for them to, it's a way for them to express their frustrations with how shitty their lives are. That's it. It's a way for them to showcase how f angry they are with politics by voting for someone who is a vector for their anger and the grievances that they hold. A lot of times the grievances uh, re that revolve around the racial pecking order and restoring that racial pecking order. That's why it's like, you know, that's why it's, it's kind of fruitless, kind of a pointless endeavor to just like try to have a legitimate conversation with them. And, and one thing you could do is just like ask them, why do you like Donald Trump? And once she starts blurting out all of those, all that information, be like, really look within yourself. Do you think your life is better? It's not. It really isn't. Your life isn't any better because you owned the libs for five minutes. That's why you're talking about something that happened all the way back in 2016. If Donald Trump actually made your life better in a tangible fashion, you probably wouldn't be running around in a communist news this network uh, uh, t-shirt. Like talking about how your friend cried in all the way back in 2016. You wouldn't. You just wouldn't do that. Happy people don't do that. Satisfied people don't do that. Why the fuck do you think I mauled every goddamn day nonstop? It's because I'm deeply unhappy with the, uh, with the way that politics works out in America. But you can't face that reality that you are still incredibly unhappy and your life hasn't gotten better. As a matter of fact, it's gotten worse and you can kind of feel it, even though we had 
Trump as president for the past four years. And none of the things that he promised he was going to do ended up manifesting. And the things that he actually did promise to do and followed through on do not help your life in any meaningful capacity. If this was a successful story, if the Trump presidency was a, was a success, then you would be excited to talk about all the successful things that Donald Trump did. And not just the talking points about black unemployment being at an all-time low. He's trying to go around you. That's a bold strategy. Make him come his pants for being able to touch a, a girl for the first time in his life. Interesting strategy. Maybe if he actually gets a nut out there, he will probably leave. He'll be like, oh shit, I have the post nut clarity now. What am I doing here? Ugh. Oh my God, what am I doing here? What am I doing? What? What have I done? Give me one of those f Black Lives Matter masks right now. I'm going to put it up. Give me a flag. I'm waving it, boys. She's yeah. a white woman yelling at a Mexican. I think she's racist. Yeah, why are you being racist? <laughs> Whoa! This is great. I unironically love conservatives making that dumbass f argument. Even if they originally are, were doing it as a meme to be like, isn't this what liberals believe in when like no one should f believe that? Now they've adopted that aesthetic. And I think most people f think that that aesthetic is dumb as f yeah, keep going. Keep doing that whole like, oh, uh -huh. yeah, you, you're you yelling at a Mexican as a white woman. You're racist. I'm Colombian. Are you stupid? Are you being racist? Why are you racist? I'd rather <laughs> myself than be racist. I'd rather <laughs> myself than be a racist. Ooh, ooh, she busted out the Spanish. She said, Donde esta la biblioteca? I am a Hispanic minority. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, big boy started throwing hands, dude. Wow, big boy, dude. This was it? This is this was literally this was the Quentin Tarantino of YouTube videos, dude. I mean, obviously way less racial slurs. It's a 45 minute video of people having random dumbass conversations with the one climax moment in the end literally just a quentin tarantino production dude holy shit hey where's the car at it's in probably the same lot you're in okay i need i need somebody how are we gonna get out of this one where's the car at oh no like what are you guys doing like, what are you, what is this? At some point, you got to be like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing right now? We're, we're locking ourselves into a f bagel facility because we're afraid of like, f uh, uh, like 18 year olds on a college campus that this we have crazy. agitated to the point of no return at this point. Like, it's funny that like Republicans say college campuses need to be defunded. The college campuses where like riots happen need to be defunded or whatever. But like, honestly, if Caitlin Bennett was no longer allowed on any college campus around the country, I think it would be overall good for everyone's safety and security, prosperity. Just like what we should in end up doing is just like make a fake, like a dummy bait college campus for Caitlin Bennett to go to every weekend. That's all you got to do is just like, she's stupid enough to believe it. Just send her to the dummy college campus, you know, maybe, maybe hire a couple people to like go and yell at her. Like that's all she needs. She needs to get off on the. Yeah, that's real f sicko shit. Like you went to their college campus with a bunch of f burly boys. Okay. Who are LARPing as like Navy SEALs doing a f extraction. And they're now like punching and pushing away like 18 year old kids. At some point you got to be like, yeah, this is really f Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, so they are getting violent with my husband. Where's Justin? He's out there. I'm sure they got him. Anyway, I'm sure they got him. He's dead now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Justin's dead, dude. And the police are nowhere to be found. If they would have controlled this, instead of blaming it on me, guess I what? I mean, they literally tried to. They tried to by telling you to get the fuck out. They literally nonstop tried to. They wouldn't be doing this. The police in our country was actually doing something to stop these people from acting. What, what do you, you can't just do that. Like this logic is insane. She's just like, I want to be able to go to a college campus, agitate people until there, there's a f mob around me. And I want the cops to execute that mob. What is this mentality? If the police were doing their job, they would have killed a couple college students 
after I pissed off everyone on campus. This is, I know I keep telling you guys, honestly, JR exceeded my expectations. I'm incredibly thankful to him. I am taking him everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, JR is going to be there. And I need you guys to support my work at Patreon.com. <laughs> Yo, that's so, this, uh, this one was good. Honestly, I know I said we weren't going to watch all 53 minutes of this, but it was just top to bottom, start to finish. My God, legitimately just delicious content, dude. This was, this was good. This was, I'm soaking wet. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, please subscribe. Uh, apparently like 43% of people don't subscribe when they watch it. So hit that bell and subscribe for all the latest videos. Hi, YouTube. Um, please do that.